Best of its busiest week of the year, the Cajuns faced their biggest day. Two top 11 teams in Oklahoma State and LSU were on the slate today. The Cajuns beat the Cowgirls 7-1 in the first of their afternoon games today. A win over LSU would be the of the weekend. Day three of the LSU crossover in Baton Rouge today. Tigers Taylor Pleasant smacks one up the middle to bring Aaliyah Andrews home from second base. LSU going up 1-0 here in the third. The top of the fourth, the Cajuns rally. Already one across, one on for Julie Rawls. She's going to single to center. She'll end up at second. The next batter is Bailey Curry, and she'd push a run across. Tying the games up at, or excuse me, giving the Cajuns a 2-1 lead. It stayed tied at two then late in the sixth. The bunt, Sierra Briggs gets it down. Jay Gutierrez throws it away, though. It goes in the books as an E5, but Briggs hustles all the way round, and she's going to score. It's the game winner. That's how LSU beats the Cajuns 3-2. Brianna Aldridge at Tiger Stadium tonight, where the Cajuns leave heartbroken. Louisiana softball finishes 1-1 one one at Tiger Park, but head coach Gary Galasco feels like it could have easily been 2-0 if a few mental errors were eliminated. I guess I should be sort of happy we, we won a, We got a top-10 win against a very good Oklahoma State ball club. But it's just so hard to lose like we lost where we don't execute. Frustration could be seen in Coach Glasgow as his team left runners on base multiple times tonight by swinging at pitches out of the zone and striking out while looking in crunch situations. We just made so many mistakes that we had that last game where we could have took advantage and pulled a win out, I think. And, you know, we, we just weren't, will, we weren't willing to do the things our team needed us to do. Still, he says his team is better than they were Thursday when they fell short to LSU for nothing. And some good did come from the competition, giving credit to Kendra Lamb's performance in the circle. I was elated with Kendra Lamb. I mean, we could have left her out there, but I was just so tickled with what she did. and I didn't want it to end disappointing for her. I wanted her to have her head up high. and That's her first really big outing against a really top opponent. Louisiana will have little time to regroup as they head home to face Oklahoma State Sunday afternoon. Reporting from Tiger Park, Brianna Aldrich, KTC TV3.